we just take a moment to talk about all the air rage going on? The FAA is sounding the alarm, saying there's been more than 100 in-flight incidents in just the past week. Can you believe that? Including this incident on a Frontier flight. Take a look. Wow, if you saw me turning, I was watching footage over here of that fight. Unbelievable. Now, some cabin crew are being taught fighting moves to take down unruly passengers, like the double ear slap, the eye poke, and the groin kick. They shouldn't have to be doing this. Are you kidding me? They're there not to serve you drinks. They're there not to break up your fight. They're there to save your life. That's what the flight crew is there. God forbid something happened on that plane. What are you thinking? Is this the martial arts of the Three Stooges? <laughs> I mean, really? Are you going to eye poke them? Like, I, you got to block it. But yeah, like, what are you talking about? I, I, listen, this is definitely not a, a flight attendant's job to, to seduce somebody. But it is in people's interest, if you want. I'm one of my best friends in the, growing up in the world does martial arts. He's taught me some protective moves if I ever need it. The one it. that I met? Yeah. I love Tony. Him. So Tony. He taught me a long time ago. He taught me some things too, remember? Yeah, he's good at that. So I know a couple moves. Like, I would never, first of all, getting in a fist fight, I mean, what are you going to do? You just, we want to subdue somebody. And I think now more than ever, people are trained like that and people do want to subdue that situation. It's, do I want to go and choke some lady out on an airplane without me getting in trouble for well, it? And here's the thing too, what we're not talking about is what has happened in this, like in interpersonal communication in general. I mean, you have people who are so far gone, feeling like they have nothing to lose. When you get into a fight on an airplane, when you don't have the presence of mind to think like, oh, do I like traveling on cargo ships and driving across the country? You're gone. That means that you have nothing to lose. So of course people are going completely crazy. Why and do you think that is? When you, that's why I always say you don't get into fights because people who fight have nothing to lose, okay? They will take you down with them and then they'll sue you for everything right. that you have. It's insane. That's what I'm but saying. But at the same time, you have people who are feeling like, you know, their lives are in an uproar. They're in their major setback season. They don't care anyway. And a lot of these people are doing it in front of their children. I mean, you see that child on the plane, like, that is traumatic. So there's really no reasoning and trying to make sense out of nonsense because this is absolute nonsense. Wait, but why do people, why are we seeing an uptick in this? Is it because people are feeling unhinged because of the pandemic? Is it because there's, a, you would say, entitlement? Like, I would definitely say I, entitlement. I think a lot of people feel entitlement if they're placed on the bottom of the total pole, so to speak, their whole life. Now is the time where they could rise up and they have that excuse. That's just me. Yeah, I, I think social media over the course of the last 15 years has shown people that they're on the bottom of the totem pole, like seeing other people's lives. And I think now we're seeing this because I've been traveling pretty almost every week for 15 years and it has never been like this. This is a different situation we're dealing with. I think people are pent up from the pandemic. I think this country is very divided, whether we want to discuss it or not. And yes. I think that last one was about racism. So I don't know if uh, uh, training a 59 year old flight attendant to be a UFC fighter is the move, <laughs> but we need to do something. Or, I, well or said. a three stooges. Yeah, <laughs> that was like, hey, I'm some real moves. Good on bar. I'm bar.